<laughs> well, as the weather starts to warm up, we naturally reach for more crisp and cool wines. Now, if that sounds like your style, then I've got a new suggestion for you. This wine is Chacoli, and you should put it on your list for the spring and summer right now. It's brisk and zesty. To use a beer term, it's sessionable, and best of all, it's amazingly affordable. Now, if you've never heard of Chocolat before, it's understandable, because this wine comes from just a mere sliver of a piece of land that's nestled on the northern coast of Spain, a region known as Basque Country. Basque Country is kind of a world unto itself. It's officially labeled as an autonomous community within Spain, and the culture and the people here are a mixture of Spanish, French, and yes, Celtic tribes. And like many of the other subregions in Spain, they speak their own language here. As you can see by the label on this bottle, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> Basque Country is a very mountainous place. Now this is a high elevation region, and because of its proximity to the Bay of Biscay, it's very wet and verdant here, and for this reason, it's also known as Green Spain. Now, white chocolate is made with a grape called Andorabi Zuri, which is genetically traceable to southern France. But despite that pesky little fact, most Basque people will still insist that the grape comes from their country. You'll also see this wine labeled as Chocolina. Both forms are actually correct. So the relatively cooler, wet climate of Basque Country makes it difficult to grow grapes. And what you end up with are these slightly underripe wines that are light, low in alcohol, super tart on the mouth, and often have a touch of salinity, which some people would argue comes from the nearby ocean. And in this cooler climate, fermentation is a challenge too. And so we end up with wines that can often have bubbles in them. And Chocolat is not quite as sparkling as, say, Champagne or Prosecco. It's just got a slight spritz to it, more like Portugal's Vinho Verde. Now, the highest quality versions of these wines deliver these beautiful aromas and flavors of pear, kiwi, lemon and lime, and then some could even be herbaceous and floral. The thing that I love most about Chocolat wines is that they're very simple and forthcoming. They don't hide behind any oak aging or lees aging, nothing like that. In Basque Country, they don't even bother to use a fancy wine glass. This water glass that I'm drinking out of here is actually more traditional. Now there's a tradition in Basque Country to pour these wines from a height. Uh, they call this the Basque pour. And the locals say that it's to unlock all the flavors that are in the bubbles. I think it's more just for flair. Whatever the case is, it's not easy. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can do it as long as I move the glass. Aw, oh, man, that ain't easy. I'm gonna have to practice that one. And if you're wondering, there are rosé and red versions of Chocolat. They're made with a sibling grape known as Andrabi Belza. It's really rare and hard to find, which is why I don't have any in this video right now. As far as food pairings are concerned, keep in mind that this is a coastal region of the world, so basically anything you can pull from the ocean is gonna be perfect with Chocolat. Also, this region is known for their uh, own version of tapas, which are known as pichtos, so wines like this are perfect for light bites and appetizers. Almost all chocolate that I've ever come across has been under $15. In fact, this bottle here was under 10. This is that kind of wine that you just wanna buy by the case and keep it around for those warm spring and summer days out on your patio. All right, my friends, thanks for checking out Chocolat with me today. I hope you get a chance to try it for yourself. And I always welcome your thoughts and comments in the section below this video. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel for hundreds more videos about wine, spirits, and food. And I'll see you for the next new and interesting wine. As they say in Basque Country, topa. Cheers. Mm -hmm.